Um, my friend. Is that you? But like properly. My friend, it went into my mouth. I'm gonna try, gonna try, gonna try. Work till I die, till I die, till I die. I'm gonna fail and get up, cause I'm not giving up on my dream. Hey, gorgeous, welcome to my channel. I'm Kapanish Mangi, and this is how I do things a show where you send me your questions, and I'll let you know how I would do things. And I can take it as entertainment or use it as advice. Use it, don't use it, take it, don't take it at all. Listen, do what you will with it. Look, I'm no professional. I'm no professional whatsoever. I'm just letting you know what I would do if I was in your shoes. Now, odor, B O, body odor, can get us from any angle, it can come from anywhere it can come from here 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 it can come from there it can come from anywhere you have to stay vigilant of this thing you can't even stay vigilant like this you have to stay vigilant with this thing smell yourself constantly the mirror can't tell you only you and people around you can tell you the truth you smell I know I don't know if I can even be that friend to say but my friend hmm. okay today we're gonna chat about this odor right here how can this odor right here what is it where does it come from why does it change why does it smell funky all of a sudden hmm? when you know that guys I don't understand something's going on why is there an odor radiating permeating from the certain corners of my pits number one it's not sweat i know this is a bit strange but actually it's not sweat it's bacteria so when you sweat our bodies sweat to keep us cool and it's a good thing that we sweat okay however when the sweat hits the skin it means bacteria and when that bacteria breaks it down breaks that sweat down takes up the protein in it that's where the smell comes from so the different types of bacteria that is on our skin can cause some sweatiness now our armpits are just warm they can get moist and they are just you know a good place to just snuggle up for all of the bacteria and that's why we can have it kind of concentrated in this area here okay that's why you can also smell without sweating sometimes the smell may come from other things it's not just from the sweat itself coming out but a build up of sweat a build up of bacteria a build up of a whole lot of good funkiness right here that build up of old skin dried skin dead skin moist skin can cause an odor in your armpits just here just chilling just basking in the warmth of the pit that can cause a little stinkiness so then if it's not sweat what must we do what must we do about the situation number two tapa tapa babe the first your first line of defense when it comes to stinky pits is to just wash have a very good skincare routine so i've recently started exfoliating more than i used to exfoliate and it's also since when you become older you start to realize that your body doesn't function the same way it used to it doesn't fight off things the same way it used to and i swear the day i turned 30 bah, my armpits are like change and now if i do not exfoliate if i don't really take extra care of my pits from a skincare routine point of view there's a smell that lingers and I'm just like, where do you come from? So it is important for you to not just fit this other slapper, you know, you need to wash there and maybe start to exfoliate every now and again. I like to use sugar scrubs because they do also have some, some beautiful moisture that also leave the skin a little lighter. So if you do have darker armpits, exfoliating really does help as well as using a brush. So I do use a brush in the shower about two to three times a week. Sometimes I may do it every day a week just to revive my skin, just to remove those dead skin cells and just to help your body just to revive itself, rejuvenate, get a new layer of skin and to get rid of any dead skin that may be chilling there, a home for bacteria and a home for smell. Number three, a change in your diet can cause funky hits. Now, if you have mango salad, acha, 
don't know what you call it in your country but it's basically pickled mango that is like a little spicy but it has some nice oils if you eat enough of that just watch your smell or just smell the odor and the way that it changes once you eat that that's just spicy food oily food meat and alcohol can change the odor in your body so if you're drinking more alcohol than usual so now we're going into the nice december festive season and you may find that you may pull one back a little you more usually than you usually do you may find that you do start to develop a smell and if you are eating more steaks you're going out for more brides you're barbecuing it up you may have a change in your smell and if you decide that you know what i'm having a bit of a spicy phase that spicy phase may also cause a stinky phase so you want to look at huge changes in your diet so if you're eating more spicy food than usual that can also change the way that you smell now the opposite also works if you start to eat more clean food so you add more vegetables you have more water-based fruits and vegetables so your mangoes your watermelons your your celeries your lettuce your cucumber those things tend to help clean out anything that has that extra smell in your body so the opposite works heavy meaty spicy alcohol bad smell light fruity water-based fruits and vegetables good smell number four is stress levels now stress can do a lot of things you can have a stress breakout pimples all over the place personally my hair falls out i don't know what it is but my hairline just goes hoof when i am stressed i'm just like why why i mean why i don't stress outwardly but i do stress internally and my hair is just like i'm out this lady is too stressed for me i cannot deal with this i am living that's how my hair deals with stress now your armpits could also just freak out because or stressed so if you are dealing with a little bit more work stress or home stress or there's something that's constantly running in your mind then that may also cause an alternate body odor one that you're not usually used to but one that comes from the stress levels that you have so always try to de-stress a very good way to do this is to have a 10 15 minute walk or maybe to add 10 15 minutes of exercise in your day it doesn't have to be a full routine that takes too much time out of your day but maybe you want to exercise maybe you want to do some stretching for 10 minutes maybe you want to take a walk breathe in some trees for a little bit that helps to de-stress you and it will also help with the pits number five a medical condition yes you heard me right when you have stinky pits and you've honestly tried everything so you have gone and made sure that you wash you've, you're now up to washing twice a day you are not stressed you're eating clean and you still smell like you've gone to now the strongest toughest antiperspirant and you've also tried all different types of deodorants and still that thing just it fights through and it just smells if that is the case then you do want to go see your gp or a healthcare professional who's just there to consult with you have a chat to them and say listen my pits are stinky these people listen and hear everything there's no need to be shy with your doctor just go to your doctor and just be like listen doc and please help me it's a bit stinky and i've tried everything i've looked at my diet i've looked at my work levels i do exercise i'm eating much healthier i've tried different antiperspirants and i yes i did take a shower this morning but still it smells then they can get down to the bottom of it it may just be that the way that your body is balanced it may just have a little bit of a smell and you may then have other routines and other things that you can do to get rid of that it may be that your healthcare professional can actually just let you know that these are the ways that you can treat and deal with the odor from your pits number six if you just wake up one day you get dressed and you leave the house and you're just like mm -mm, man something just doesn't smell right is the clothing fresh is it is it you know have you worn it before is it like the third time you're wearing this piece of clothing that can also be the reason why you're just stinky that day so you yourself you're fine your body has no odor however whatever body odor you had from the previous day or the day before is now stuck hmm? is now stuck on your clothes yes the heat from two days ago is now here it's gone cold and now it just smells it's marinated like curry and now it's just 
it's got that good wholesome deep matured smell number seven is antiperspirant now if you have been using antiperspirant for some time and you switch or you stop using it it can actually make you smell off a little more off than usual now an antiperspirant is different from a deodorant so an antiperspirant is something that tries to help you to sweat a little less and a deodorant is something that specifically targets those bacteria that causes that smell so if you have been on an antiperspirant and you change or you stop using it for a few days the smell that comes out won't be your usual smell no it will be another one it will be the replacement, you know, the substitute smell that's on another level compared to the one that was there before. So you may want to try and look at using a deodorant as opposed to an antiperspirant, but do look out for a little bit of a change of the smell that you have when you do. Yes, you should try and find the one that fits your body the most because we change, especially as women, our hormone levels go up and down and they change throughout our lives. So if you've noticed that over time your antiperspirant or your deodorant isn't working for you the way that it used to, then you may want to change it into something else. Remember, you don't have to necessarily go stronger. You just need to change one or two ingredients in the antiperspirants or deodorants that you use. Now, I like mine gentle and soft. So if I used to use a Dove deodorant, then I just change to a Nivea deodorant. Both very gentle, but the formulation is different. So one may work a little better for me during that specific phase in my life. And finally, number eight, hairy pits. Yes, if you have a little bit of hair, your pits may smell a little more than they usually do. Why? Because your hair holds on to smell. It clings onto it for dear life. It's just like, hug me, keep me, smell me. That's what happens with hair. So if you have a little bit of hair, now for women, even just half a centimeter of hair can be enough to change the way that you smell. So usually you wouldn't smell as bad because you don't have any hair under your pits. But as soon as you start to have a little bit, it clings to the hair and that's when the sweat and the bacteria meet together and cause that smell. So if you don't want that to happen, you want to keep your pits a little smooth all the time, making sure that you do not have too much hair so that smell doesn't come out. Now that's all I have for you guys today. I hope that you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know in the comment section down below what videos you want to see next, especially if it has to do anything with body odor. Maybe we'll do feet or maybe we'll do stinky bumps. I don't know, cause those things happen, huh? They do. And someone needs to talk about it and I'm here for you. Let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and you want to see more videos like this. Until next time, beautiful people, I'll catch you tomorrow for another live from here at 7.30 South African time. I'm Kapanish Shemang and this is How I Do Things. Hey gorgeous, thank you so much for watching my video and thank you for making it right until the end. If you're not subscribed, please click on this button right here to subscribe and feel free to binge watch, just binge watch. Who's that? No one's touching you. Just binge watch, man. I love you for it. Head over to my website, www.kopadishmangi.com to check out my new journal, Her Daily Success Journal, which is all for women who want to be centered in God, who are goal-driven, want to go to sleep with gratitude in their hearts. Until next time, bye.